I've got a couple of eggs here. I've got a hen egg and a guillemot egg. And you'll notice they're both pointy at one end and round at the other. But in the case of the hen egg, there's not much in it. The pointy end is only slightly pointier than the round end. But in the case of the guillemot egg, the pointy end is really pointy. And that's no mistake, because the shape of these eggs affects the way they roll. If you place a hen egg on a table and then tilt the table, the egg will roll off the table. But if you put a guillemot egg on a table and tilt the table, it survives. Try to push the guillemot egg away and it rolls in a tight circle. So an object that's pointy at one end and round at the other doesn't roll along a straight path. It rolls around a curve. So the hen egg rolls around a curve as well, but it's not as pronounced. The bigger the difference between the pointy end and the round end, the tighter the curve that you roll around. So why would guillemots evolve to lay eggs that roll in tight circles? The answer is that they build their nests on narrow ledges on the sides of cliffs. So if a guillemot laid an egg that rolled in a straight line and it was accidentally pushed out of the nest, then there's a good chance that it will roll off the ledge and into the sea. Hens don't have to worry about that sort of thing, but guillemots do. And this is a brilliant example of evolution at work. Through the natural variation of genes, some guillemots have pointier eggs than others, and the pointier eggs are less likely to fall into the sea, so genes for pointier eggs are passed on to the next generation, and now we see guillemots with pointy eggs. Another great example of evolution evident in the shell of a guillemot egg is its colouring. Every guillemot egg is distinctly coloured, which is not true of hen's eggs. Hens, or at least I guess their wild ancestors would build their nests at a distance from each other. So a hen can locate her nest by just remembering where she left it. Whereas guillemots build their nests in dense colonies, meaning that if a guillemot tried to locate her brood by location alone, she may end up incubating her neighbor's eggs, which is no good. So instead, they've evolved to have these distinctive colorings and a guillemot can locate her brood not just by location alone, but by sight as well. This isn't a real guillemot egg, by the way, because it's illegal to buy guillemot eggs, but it's been built in such a way that the weight distribution is the same as a real guillemot egg. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and I will see you next time.